Hey guys, good morning. I am out in my country house and today is the day before Thanksgiving. So I thought, why don't we spin up to Annapolis, take a look at the Naval Academy today. And uh, well, there's just not a lot of else exciting to do out here in the boonies. So we're gonna drive up to Annapolis and let's take a look. Or it looks like it's falling down. I don't think it still has explosives in it. This I don't think is the. Yeah, this one. Type 93, the largest Japanese torpedo. 1,000 pounds of explosives. That's enough. To, and that's, yeah, this one is a type that was underneath like a Japanese dive bomber or a torpedo bomber. This is Bancroft Hall. This is the largest dormitory in the world. It has 4,000 mids living all in one building. I think, I think we can go inside. So, Whenever Army, whenever Navy beats Army in football or another sport, the players get to come down and ring this bell. <coughs> USS Enterprise, 1937. A temple bell from Commodore Perry. It was a replica. Oh. Yeah. oh. Let's go inside. I think they'll let us in. Oh, yeah, the Christmas tree up there. We can go up here, guys. See the battleship fighting off kamikaze attacks. So the Annapolis Middle East Peace, the Annapolis Peace Convention. These are all the graduates who gave their lives. And you can even see the ones today, the global war on terrorism. So many young kids. So this flag flew over an American destroyer, the Osborne, in the battle uh, of site of Incheon, when the U.S. troops invaded Incheon in Korea. <sighs> Colonel Ripley, this guy's insane, all right? So this was in Vietnam, all right? And a Vietnamese column of tanks was trying to cross over the bridge. This dude, Colonel Ripley, he like monkey barred out onto the bridge to set the explosives while they were shooting at him, and he blew up the bridge. Yeah, this is the U-505, all right? So this was a... Well, they just ran over. It was like the first time they had captured a ship on the high seas since like the 1800s, 1850. The submarines, they didn't have to save the survivors of ships. It was considered James Bond Stockdale. He ran for vice president with H. Ross Perot. James Don Starkdale won the Medal of Honor. He was a prisoner in Vietnam in the Hanoi Hilton. Now also, look at these dudes. Here's another alumni. Connor, you know this guy? What? Uh, Colonel Ripley. 
Mm -hmm. Astronauts. The Naval, Naval Academy has more astronauts than any other school. There's Senator McCain. Oh, he, yeah. And when he was a student. So this is a typical dorm room. It looks better than your dorm. Yeah, this is what your dorm would be like. <laughs> These are the brigades. So there's different battalions, each led by one of the senior midshipmen. And then these guys are in charge of the regiment, and then they all the way up to the brigade commander, which is the highest rank a student can get. So this used to be, this is a, a copy of what used to be on the Academy's training ship, the USS Delaware. This used to be on the front, and now today, the mids try to throw coins into the quiver for good luck. So whenever they come by, they try to throw a penny into the uh, arrow quiver for good luck. Doesn't always work. Let's go to the chapel. So we're heading over to the U.S. Naval Academy chapel now. It's uh, 12.15 or 12.30 right now, I think. So you see this obelisk over here. This is called the Herndon Memorial. Now, at the end of your freshman year, they put an upperclassman's hat on the top of that. And you have to climb up there as a freshman and take that hat off and replace it with the upperclassman's hat. And that means you've, you have finished your first year at the Naval Academy. Now the thing is, the upperclassmen come out here the night when it's covered with oil and water and grease, it's, it's pretty darn tall. <laughs> Go in the chapel. final days of graduation if you get married before you graduate you and your spouse can be stationed at the same base so the final days of graduation guys run to get married <laughs> okay they have 30 minutes in out and the next crypt of John Paul Jones. John Paul Jones is regarded as the founder of the Navy, basically. The father of the Navy. He was a Revolutionary War naval officer. He was actually, I think, buried in Paris. from Paris in 1906, Teddy Roosevelt, <coughs> and the big ceremony they had for his internment. These are all the grads who went to the shuttle. They all signed their name on a space shuttle. These are academy grads who went to the moon, and they've all signed the rocket. <laughs> ships. The dockyards would build a model of the ship before they actually built it. That was sort of like their blueprint. Mm -hmm. These are the actual dockyard models of some of the old sailing ships from the 1800s, 1700s. Ships of the line, Nelson and all that. But you see the guys who were building the ship could come to the model and know exactly what they had to build. That's a third-rate ship, not a ship of the line. So 
Look at how intricate it is in the back. Yeah, like why is that intricate? It's not even practical. Well, they needed to, well, it looked cool. Why build something unelegant? <laughs> yes, they were for war. Here, look at this big boy. This is a first rate, 100 guns. Yeah. It's just a scooter. Yeah, that's a frigate. This and is, they didn't have wood, but all they had was animal bones, bones from like soup. But these are called bone ships. Right. And they would build these out of bones and then sell them to sailors as gifts or stuff like that. <laughs> and that's kind of how they uh, made a living serving as a imprisoned soldier, press ganged. Yep, making these bone ships. <laughs> Yeah. So see, here's the bone. French prisoners of war would make these bone ships yeah. while uh, sitting imprisoned in the basement, in the bottom of these uh, warships. This is HMS Victory. Eighteen sixteen, the USS Pennsylvania designed. Eighteen twenty two, the keel. <coughs> yep, it's basically almost the size of a football field. Yeah, they don't even know what ship this is. Unidentified British second rate. This is a painting of We Got Him. All right, the night that Osama bin Laden was killed, the mids went over to the admiral's house and started celebrating. That's a painting of, we got him. So yeah, guys, we are back in Washington, DC, just up the road from here. I'm gonna show you around this week. We're gonna visit the White House, we'll visit the Capitol. We got a bunch of Marine Ones coming in and out. Who knows what else we'll see. We'll try to find something cool. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys had a good Thanksgiving. I will catch you all very soon. Bye-bye.